Hey, my name's Gav from GK Videography and in today's Coffee and Create lesson, we're gonna actually be jumping into After Effects to show you a quick tutorial on adding fake clouds to your existing drone footage. Even if this is the very first time you're opening After Effects, this tutorial is a breeze and it just adds so much more depth to those drone shots that you already have. So let's uh, jump on the Mac and I'll show you exactly how. So right, we're in After Effects, you've opened it up, you are blessed with this screen. What we want to be doing is creating a new composition from footage. So we click that and then it's going to ask us to import the clip that we want to add the effect to. Now I've got a few here, but this is the one I'm going to be adding. So you select that, open, and then we have the clip ready with no clouds, no clouds yet. So what we're going to do next is going to import some fake clouds. Now you can find these anywhere on the internet if you just Google search cloud PNG. A PNG is the file format that you'll need to create this clip, which just gives the cloud a transparent background so you can layer it over your existing drone footage. Now I will go to the relevant folder where they're in. I've got them in graphics just because that's where I wanted to put them at the time. And I've got a few different ones here. And what I'll do, I'll link, uh, I'll put a download link, a Dropbox link to these clouds that you can download yourself, save you having to search them. So we've imported those clouds into here. Now, to track this in the 3D space, we want to be adding a 3D camera tracker. So you want to be going into your effects panel. Mine's not here. So if it's not here, you want to go up to window and select effects and presets, and you'll see that pop up here. Now all we want to do is type 3D camera tracker and there it is. You want to select that and then just drag it into the footage. Now that's going to analyze in the background. My computer is probably uh, going to take a few minutes to do that. Yours may be different. So I'm just going to uh, fast forward to the next bit. So once the camera tracker has analyzed the scene, what you'll notice across your footage are all these little multicolored crosses um, and as you hover your mouse over like you see here you'll get this big disc now this disc represents the plane the level on which the clouds will sit <clears throat> so what we want to do is have that so it's looking flat on the ground essentially so we'll pick a point it can be almost anywhere we're going to be putting the clouds slightly off to the side of the pick but we can move them once we've selected the plane so if we say here See now how that's sitting flat. We then right click in the middle there and create null. Now the null is this placement on the footage. So this is the area that will be tracked. So if I just skip through this, you see how that moves. It, it's a, it lags behind a little bit, but that's fine. When you stop, that stays on the footage. Now what we're gonna be doing is attaching the clouds to that null point. So we will go up to the project panel Select a cloud, let's find something in here. So I'll collect this one down into the, uh, the window here on the bottom right. Now, at the moment, this isn't moving with the footage. What we need to do is select the 3D switch here. You see this cube? What we want to do is select that and then that will add the cloud as you can see it moves with the null point then but we're not done yet so I'll just play this back slowly so you can see it's moving with it but it looks a little bit it looks a little fake at the moment so what we want to do is maybe turn down the opacity of the cloud now we go into the cloud we hit T shortcut T for opacity and we can just bring that down a little bit just to make it a little bit more transparent and then what we want to do is move, move the cloud slightly off to the side here. 
because I don't want it obscuring the whole image. And then as you can see, it's going out of shot. The thing is, it's moving quite at the same speed as the actual, as the ground. So there's these marks here. So we can move this up and down in the shot, left to right. But we've got this one here, this blue one, which will bring is, is the depth of the shot. So if we get this and drag it up, you'll then see the difference and how that looks in it parallaxes with the ground. And you see how that now moves faster because it's closer to the 3D camera. I'll just do that again. So that looks great, but we can add a little bit of um, realism into it by adding an effect called a turbulent displacement. And that just comes up here. We add that into the cloud. I'll just do a thing for a couple of seconds. Now what we want to do is keyframe this to essentially move. It's a displacement, so it will affect the PNG. So it's like almost swirling. It's very subtle, but it just adds a little bit of uh, realism to it. So we get the playhead to the beginning of the shot here, and we want to click up here on Evolution, which will add a keyframe, as you can see there, just here. And then we want to get to towards the end of the shot, and then turn up. You see how that moves the cloud? It just displaces it a little bit. And although that's only subtle, you'll see as it plays through the clouds shape shift a little bit. So hopefully you found that useful. I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you did. And if you want to catch more videos like this, there are more on my channel. And if you, oh, light went out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more future tips and tricks videos.